everybody, Jeffrey here with NetTouch.com, bringing you the screencast of the week. So last week, one of the questions that came up with our screencast was, how can you uh, dynamically create thumbnails? Uh, so if the user uploads an image, we want PHP to go ahead and create the thumbnail for us. And that is exactly what I'm going to show you today. Don't worry, it's not going to be too hard. In any tough areas, I'm going to go step by step with you. And as always, if you have a question, just leave a comment, and I promise I will uh, try to help you as best as I can, or the other commenters will. But before we get started, I want to quickly show you uh, ThemeForest.net. So if you aren't familiar with this site, I strongly recommend that you take a look at it. Now basically, this is a site where you can purchase and sell site templates. So let's say, for example, you're a designer and a client comes to you with maybe $200 and they need uh, a site for their, um, for their company fast, maybe say in the next two days. You are not going to have time to do that yourself. So in that instance, why not come to ThemeForce, spend $10 or $15 to buy one of our ready-made templates, and then you can customize it uh, for your client and be done with it. And you're, you know, we're not talking about really expensive templates here. We're talking $10, $15, maybe $20. So let's say, uh, for instance, you come to our blog, which you should subscribe to, by the way. And let's click on uh, the featured collection is uh, Amazing Corporate Themes. You can come through here, and these are uh, you know, some of the best of the best corporate themes here. So let's say, um, what would be a good one? Let's check out uh, the News 360. This is uh, kind of modeled after CNN.com. So let's say you, you know your client's uh, some kind of news corporation. You can uh, browse the live preview. You can purchase the theme for uh, let's see how much it is. Yeah, fifteen bucks, guys. For fifteen dollars, let me zoom out because I'm on this tiny screen. And you immediately have this working news site for $15. You then can go and customize it with your uh, client's logo, and you're done with it. You don't have to spend hours and hours staying up till 4 in the morning. And alternatively, if you have templates uh, that you've created, uh, go ahead and sell them, and you will make a, a great deal of money. So done with that. Let's get into our project. So I'm going to open PHP Designer 2008, and I'm going to create a new document. And we're going to be working with PHP, but we'll start actually with HTML. So I'm going to create uh, the form. As always, I'm going to keep this as bare bones as I possibly can. That way you can immediately take the code and move it into your own project, and you don't have to worry about slicing out all the CSS or, or whatever. So what we're going to do is... Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I think I will... I'm sorry, I'm doing this from scratch. I am going to create a, a PHP document instead. Okay, here's our document. I'm going to get rid of this information. And I'm going to start out with uh, our config file. And this is going to be the file that you can edit uh, to change uh, specific things, like the path to uh, the thumbnails folder, for instance, or maybe um, how wide you want your images to ultimately be after PHP um, uh, compresses them. So we'll start out with, uh, let's say, uh, a final width of image. Okay. So this is after a thumbnail is created, how wide do we want it to be? In this instance, I'm going to say uh, I want it to be 100 pixels, so I'm going to set it to 100. Uh, next, I'm going to do path to uh, image directory, and I'm just making these variables as explanatory as possible. And uh, this is going to be the path to our images folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the folder that I'm working in, and I have it called dynamic thumbnails and I'm going to create a folder and we'll just call this images and then within my images folder I'm going to create another one and this is what's going to store uh, our full-sized images that the users can upload so I'm going to call it full-sized so we know that our path is going to be images slash full-sized so I'll put that in right there images slash full-sized Okay, and now I need a path to my thumb thumbnails. So path to thumbs directory, and that's going to be uh, images slash uh, thumbs. Pretty simple, right? 
All right, I think that should be good. I'm going to save it into my folder. And I'm going to call this config.php. All right, that's good. Let's create a new item. And this time it'll be HTML. It's fine. And now we're going to create our simple form. So we'll start out with, uh, let's say, h1. Um, upload a file, man. And then uh, I'm going to start a form tag. Now, what we need to be able to do here is allow the user to upload a file. So in order to do that, I'm going to do a form uh, enc type is going to be equal to its multi part slash form dash data. And this is required anytime you're going to be uploading and uh, saving files. And the action is going to be, now we're going to actually have the action be this specific page. So in that instance, I'm going to do a PHP. We will have to turn this into a PHP page. Uh, and we'll do print. And we'll do server PHP underscore self. And that's just going to tell it uh, the action is going to be this page. OK? And close that out. And then finally, the method is going to be post. OK, unfortunately, it's wrapping because I'm on a tiny screen for our screencast. All right, let's close out the form tag. And now let's, um, let's create our very simple form. I will do input type. Uh, it's going to be a file, and the name I'm going to call it is f upload for file upload. And then finally, uh, I need a submit button. So we'll do uh, input type equals submit. And value is going to be uh, go. And you know what? I don't even, I'm not even going to bother with these paragraph tags. It's okay if it comes off to the right. And I'm going to save this as, uh, we'll call it index.php. There we go. And you know what? That's going to do it for, um, for our intro page. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we have. Localhost. I'm going to browse to my folder, Dynamic Thumbnails, and we have just this very simple form. The user can click Browse. Uh, right now, it's not going to do anything because we haven't written any code yet. So let's go ahead and take care of that right now. I'm going to go back to uh, PHP Designer, and at the very top, we'll just add this code. You know, and we'll do PHP. And I'm going to say if is set, and then I'm going to check to see if uh, my input field is set, f upload. So we'll do if is set, um, and we'll do get files the way we can access that uh, because it's a file upload we need to use a dollar underscore files and then the name and we're gonna write some code sorry I'm still getting used to this new editor it does all the autocomplete for me and it screws me up a little bit but I'm getting used to it and then I'm gonna do a uh, preg underscore match and this is going to check a regular expression to make sure that the the file that the user selected actually is an image because obviously, if they choose, you know, an .exe file or something similar to that, we don't want to accept it. So we need to check for that. So I'm going to do if preg underscore match, and this allows me to um, to check a regular expression. And for those of you uh, that don't know much about regular expressions, let me give you a link real quick. Uh, just the other day, I wrote, um, I created a screencast on uh, getting started with regular expressions from scratch. Uh, let's see where it is. A crash course right here. So go to blog.themeforce.net, and it's called a crash course in regular expressions. And uh, this has a uh, a video for you that'll give you um you know a, a quick overview over um, what to do. So I recommend you take a look at that. But moving forward, um, within my regular expression, I'm going to say uh, find. Uh, find, let's say, uh, JPG or GIF or uh, PNG. So check the file name, and if it contains 
uh, any of the a dot followed by any of these letters at the very end, which I'm going to use a dollar sign to designate that it has to be at the end of the file name, uh, then um, I need to compare that. <coughs> I need to compare that to the file name. So we'll do once again files, and we'll do f upload. So if you find a match, then run some code. Otherwise, we're not going to do anything. We're just going to deny the user and not upload it. So first, I'm going to do a little bit of, um, I'm going to create a few variables just to speed things up. So I'll do file name equals the name of the file that the user uploaded. And I'm going to do source. Now, anytime uh, when you're working with the file input, when the user uh, clicks the submit button, the, the file is automatically saved in a temporary folder. So we need to access that. And the way we can do that is I'll set a variable to uh, source. And that's going to be equal to files. And the name is um, fupload. And within it, um, it's called tmp name, if I remember correctly. And close that out. And actually, I forgot one thing. A uh, file name. Uh, we need to access the specific property within our fupload. And the way we get the name is. Uh, obviously, f upload and then another bracket with name. All right, and finally the target. Now, target is going to be equal to where I want the file to be saved. So what I can do here, let's go back to our config file, and I know I want the file to be saved to this folder. So I'm just going to grab that variable name, and the target is going to equal to that variable. And what I need to do is uh, require that config file to make sure that we can access those variables. So require config.php. All right, now the way, what we're gonna do here is, since the file's already been saved to this temporary directory, I just wanna move the file into the appropriate folder. And we can do that by calling, um, simply enough, a move uploaded, uploaded file. And the first, as you can see here, the first is uh, the file name. And then the next parameter is going to be the destination of where we want, it, want to move it. So the file name is going to be uh, source. And then the, the destination is going to be target. Okay, Pretty simple, right? Now we have saved the file. So let's go ahead and make sure uh, this is working correctly. Let's go back uh, into my document. I'm going to reload the page. Oh, sorry about that. I did it again. I forgot to add uh, my name. See, when I accessed uh, F upload right here, I'm not telling it exactly what to, to check for, and I want to check the name of the string. Sorry about that. Okay, so let's try that again. And we're going to have one more mistake that I want to show you. So I'm going to click 200 by 200 and click Go, and you're going to see this error pop up, and it says, Warning, move uploaded file. So let's see why that's happening. And this is a, a common mistake that people make. Look here, the target, I have set the target equal to that variable. So let's go back. The variable's name uh, is images thumbs. So what we're telling PHP is take the image that the user um, uploaded and save it as images slash thumbs. But that's telling it save it as a folder. We need it to actually save as a file name within that folder. So what I'm going to do is just append the file name. So now it's going to save as images slash um, full sized slash and then the name of the file. Okay? So let's see if that works now and make sure you don't get caught with that. So one more time, third time's the charm, click on 200 by 200, click go. I haven't given any feedback yet, so nothing's going to happen. But if we come back to our folder, click on images and full sized. And you'll see an image, and it's actually uh, the iNetTouch tutorial that James created for us on nettouch.com a couple days ago. So we know it's working. So the next step is to take that image and automatically, uh, dynamically create the thumbnail. And the way we're going to do that is I'm just going to call a function so we can store it in its own page. And I'm going to call, uh, let's make it create thumbnail. And I'm going to pass in the file name. Okay, so we're going to send that function whatever the name of the file is that the user selected. And let's clean this up. 
All right, next step, let's create a new document. And I'm just going to call it uh, something uh, straightforward, um, maybe functions. Functions.php. Looks good to me. And the first function we're going to do, and it's probably only going to be the only one, and I'm going to call it, um, what did I call this? Create thumbnail. Simple enough. So function, create thumbnail, and it accepts one parameter, and we're going to do file name. So the first step, um, I'm going to make sure we require config.php again, just in case, although that may not be necessary. But I'm thinking it is. Oh, this darn autocomplete drives me crazy. Okay, let's get started. And once again, we're going to do another check. Actually, you know what? We've already checked to make sure uh, the file that the user selected was an image, so I don't need to do it again. Uh, like I said, I'm doing this for, from scratch, so I'm thinking of the best way. What we do need to check, though, is whether it was a JPEG, um, a PNG file or a GIF file. So what I'll do is if pregmatch and within it I'm going to say um, if, if you find once again a period followed by a JPG at the very end and we'll compare that to file name the file that the user selected. If that's so, then we're we're going to create a new variable called im. That's going to be equal to image create from JPEG, and this accepts uh, the file name that we're going to create. And I'm going to pass in a path to image directory. So I'm going to pass in the path to image directory full sized. And then I'm also going to append the file name like we did before. Okay? So image create from JPEG is going to be equal to images slash full size slash whatever the name of the file is. But uh, what if the user what if the user is uploading a PNG? So what I'll do here is say uh, else if and then I'm going to do the same thing again except replace JPG with um, GIF and change that and just copy this entire field but this time it's going to be image create um, from GIF and then finally I need to do one more else if and then do it for PNG And actually, I don't even need to do an else if I could just do else if I wanted because it's implied that it would be um, a PNG because we're checking for that at the very beginning. So it can only be one of those three. But hardly a big deal. I'm just going to do it the long way for now. All right, and that's going to be image create from ping. All right, moving on. So the next thing that I'm going to check is going to be, oh, I have a syntax error. Where is it? And there it is. I just forgot an underscore. That should do it. All right, the next thing is I'm going to capture uh, the original width and height value height values of the image that the user uploads. So we'll do that by doing um, original x for ox. And that's going to be, the way we find that is by doing uh, images x. And then I'm going to pass in the image, which is im. Next, I'm going to do original Y, and that's going to be images Y, and pass in IM again. And that's going to store, you know, for example, uh, with the image that we uploaded earlier, that's a 200 pixel by 200. So OX will be equal to 200, and OY will be equal to 200 as well. The next is going to be uh, the new X value that we want and the new Y value that we want. And if we remember here, if we come back, I set uh, the final value to be 100, but you can change this to 50 or whatever you want, and that's why we're storing it in a config.php file. But I'm going to grab that variable name, uh, go back to my functions.php, 
and the new x is going to be equal to that variable. Okay, And then the new y, the way we can keep this proportionate is I'm going to do floor, and I need to enter a float value, so we're going to do uh, the way we're going to find the correct a proportionate uh, y value is going to be oy uh, times, and then we'll do um, the new the new x value divided by the. I'm sorry, that's not right. Um, oy is going to be times the final width of the image divided by the original x value. Yeah, I think that's right. So let's uh, let's do an example. Let's say the old uh, X was 200 and the old Y was 200. Now remember, we're going to move this down to 100 pixels. So NX is equal to 100 pixels. So the new Y is going to be equal to old Y is 200 times final width divided by OX. So the final width is 100 divided by 200. So that's one half. So we are saying um, the new Y value is going to be equal to OY 200 times 1 half equals 100, and we know that's of course correct. So that's the way we find that value. If it seems complicated to you, just, uh, just add an example to make sure that it works for you. Okay, and the next thing that I'm going to do is uh, we'll create a variable called NM, and that's going to be image create true color, and I'm going to include links to a uh, the PHP site that gives you definitions of each of these uh, functions. And I'm going to pass in the new x value and the new y value. Moving along, let's do image copy uh, resized. And I'm going to do, uh, you see here it accepts many, um, many different parameters. So the first is going to be nm, which is that new uh, image create true color. And then I'm going to tell it the image. So we'll do im. And the next, it needs that integer that's going to be, we'll just do 0, 0, x is 0, source 0. Um, then the new x value, the new y value, and then the old x value followed by the old y value. All right. And I will, uh, in the uh, article portion of the site, I'll explain this to you a little bit more, but I'm trying to move as fast as I can for you guys. So the next step is to actually create the, um, actually do the operation. So we'll say if, um, if the file doesn't exist, meaning if there is no thumbnails folder, because remember we haven't created that. So if the file doesn't exist, and I'm going to pass in, nope, that's not it. I'm going to pass in our path to thumbnails directory. Um, now I should uh, preface this. This probably isn't. Um, imperative because you could just go and create the thumbnail folder uh, yourself but just in case you know for some reason it gets deleted by your client or or whatever it's probably a good idea to make sure that a thumbnails directory does exist um, if it does exist then let's write the code so if it doesn't exist we need to make it so we can create a directory by doing mkdir and we need to create the path to the directory that we wanted to make and that's once again going to be path to thumbs directory. So pass in that variable. And if that was successful, uh, we'll do image, let's say it's a JPEG image, uh, JPEG. And the definition of this that they provide is output image to a browser or file. Okay, So that's exactly what we want to do is output it to uh, the thumbnails folder. So we'll do um, give it nm which is the uh, image create true color, uh, comma, and then path to the thumbs directory. That's where it's going to go. And remember, we also have to append the file name, which is the name of the file that the user selected. OK, and next, I'm going to create a variable called tn for thumbnail. And this is how we're just going to do just a simple output to let the user know um, Congratulations, uh, your your image has been created, and we'll show them the thumbnail that that was created. And we're gonna create uh, make tn equal to image source equals, and then I'm going to append uh, the path to thumbnail directory, and also the file name. 
and close out that double quotation mark and do alt. I'm just going to set it to image for now just to save some time and close out the image. And the final thing that I want to do is uh, TN. I'm going to also add, um, let's say, just add a break tag and then say uh, congratulations. Your file has been successfully uploaded. Um, and a thumbnail has been created. Okay, that's fine for me. And then last, I'm just going to echo TN, you know, just to, just to give you guys some feedback. Um, but now we need to do an else. So uh, if make directory, make directory was not successful, um, I'll do else, um, just die, and say there was a problem. I'm not going to go too much into that. And then finally, if um, the file does exist, uh, we are just going to, um, what's the best way to do this? Oh, I'm just going to copy this for now. We could store that in a function so I don't have to repeat code, but um, I'm not going to do that. Uh, let me clean this up and add another else and close it out. Just a second to clean up a bit. So, I'm sorry I'm on this tiny screen. It's really messing up my formatting. Let me pull that back just a little bit. All right, and um, looks like I'm missing a closing bracket. Yeah. Okay, so uh, if if you try to make a directory, and the directory is going to be that new thumbnails directory, then uh, we're going to call image JPEG, uh, pass in a few parameters, and then uh, create a thumbnail that we're going to then display to the user. Uh, if the directory was not created successfully, we'll die. And then finally, if the file does exist, uh, then we're just going to display the image and we're not going to make a directory. That's a little sloppy. We can clean that up. Uh, and then it looks like I have this extra probably get rid of that. It's probably from the autocomplete that I'm not used to. And let's see how that works. That might be all I need. Let's try it. I'm going to reload my page. I'm going to click Browse. And I'm going to browse to just uh, another image. Click Go. And I did get an error. Call the undefined function create thumbnail. And that's probably because I didn't include it on my main page. I would bet. Yep, require. So let's do a require functions.php. All right, save that. Go back, reload the page. Browse for my image once again. And click go. All right, there it goes. Congratulations. This is a, a, a Twitter image from a NetTouch article. Your file has been successfully uploaded and a thumbnail has been created. So let's go and see if that did in fact work. There's the image that was saved. And now let's go back and you see a thumbs directory was created for us. Click on it and it has that image. And if I view the properties, we can see how big it is. And you can see here, uh, well, that's not showing it. Let me see if I hover over it. Yeah, there it is. Dimensions 100 by 100. So everything worked perfectly, and it created our thumbnail for us. So what you'll want to do uh, now, this is the uh, bulk of the tutorial. might be a good idea to go back to functions.php and clean this up a little bit. Um, you could probably turn this into maybe a method. That way you don't have to repeat all of your code, and you can just store that as a, you know, a function as to um, echo image and then store that, and then you just call echo image. Um, or, you know, clean it up to your heart's content. And I recommend, um, for those of you aren't, that aren't familiar, go over some of these functions and figure out exactly what they do. And I will elaborate a bit more on, um, on the article portion of this. So I hope that helped you. Now you can take any image uh, for your photo gallery or anything that you can upload it. You can save it to a specific folder. You should make sure you have the proper permissions, by the way. 
and then uh, you can create thumbnails and you are done. So that's been the screencast, a little bit shorter than usual, but um, I uh, got everything I needed to across, so I will see you guys next week. Bye.